Hey guys, how are we all doing? I'm super excited to be here today again. Congrats to all those who passed their OSCE exam and welcome to my channel. My name is Violet Okolika. I talk about everything about OSCE and nursing here in the UK. So today we'll be doing a video on community setting for subcutaneous injection. So guys, let's go and do this video. But if you've not subscribed to my channel, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Share my videos with your friend preparing for OSCE exam and please give me a like. Let's get started, guys. Knock knock. Yes, who is there? That's me, one of the community nurses. Oh, okay. My name is Violet. I'm here to administer your subcutaneous injection. Did your GP tell you about that, sweetheart? Yes, I've been expecting you. Oh, bless you, bless you. Can I just confirm your full name, date of birth, and address? Uh, my name is Enretha Pearl. Perfect. And your date of birth, my lovely? Is the 15th of February, 1940. Lovely. And your address, please? 53 Bia Trees Road. Lovely. Your postcode, my love? It's City95SW. Lovely. I can confirm I am in the, with the right patient and with the right house address. Can I just confirm with you, my lovely, if you have any pets or any child? Uh, no, I have no pets and my children are in oh, school. Oh, bless you. It's just because I want the environment to be safe. So if you were to have kids or pets, I would just advise you to just lock them up or, you know, keep them aside so that we can just finish the procedure, right? Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. So is this a convenient time to administer your medication? Absolutely. Yes. Lovely. And have you done your blood glucose this morning, darling? Yes, I did. What was it? It was eight. Lovely. That's really good. You're really, really doing well. So do you know why you take your insulin, my darling? Uh, I, I was told is to control my blood glucose. Lovely, lovely. And that is why we're giving you your insulin. And I can confirm so far, it's really helping you to really control your blood glucose. Is oh. that alright? Oh, thank you. Bless you. So, my love, can you show me where to wash my hands quickly? Yes, can you start coming oh, over there? Oh, lovely, lovely. So, I put enough sanitizer on my hand. Palm to palm. Right palm over left those on. Fingers into legs, fingers into locks, fingers into locks, rotation of the form, rotation of the form, tips to the fingers, tips to the fingers, and the wrist. So my hands are clean and I'm happy. So my hands are clean. All right, Eretta, thank you so much. My hands are clean. Now, before we start, can I just confirm your full name and date of birth again? Yeah, it's Enretta Pearl. All right. And your date of birth, darling? It's 15 February 1940. Lovely. And you stay in 53 Beatrice Road? That's correct. Lovely. Can I just confirm with you if you have any allergies at all? Yeah, I react to penicillin. Lovely. And what reaction did you have? I feel unwell and I oh, feel dizzy and rushed. Bless you. I have that here that you react to penicillin. So I am not giving you anything containing penicillin. Is that all right? Oh, that's lovely. Lovely. Thank so you. can you show me where to prepare the injections we have? Yeah, you can do it on the table over there. Okay. So I wash my hand now, put sanitizer on my hand. I put on my apron. Guys, when preparing your injection, endeavor to put on your apron. It is really important. Put on your apron and put on your glove when preparing and injection for your patients. So let's go over. So, this is the prescription for Mrs. Serieta Persis International Unit of Insulin. The prescription is legible, the doctor's signature is there, his blip number is there, and the time is 8 a.m. It is due at night time, and I'm happy to administer this medication. So this is my alcohol wipe. His expiry date is 2022. And I'll clean my tray. My tray is clean, I put this, our Zembo on, I need. This is my insulin, the expiry date is 2022, it's valid and I'm happy to use it. This is my alcohol swab, the expiry date is 2022, it's valid, I'm happy to use it. So I pick my alcohol swab in here, I put this in the normal waste. This is my syringe, this is my syringe is valid, the expiry date is 2024, I'm happy to use this. And I put this in here. The normal waste and I need my gauze. This is my gauze, it's still valid. The expiry date is 2022, 
So I put this in the normal waste. Right, so I'll take my plaster just in case. So I pick my cleaner wipe and I clean for 30 seconds and I allow to dry for 30 seconds. So the prescription says six international units of insulin. So I will draw six international units of insulin. Okay. I said, so please, can you confirm this is six international unit of insulin? Yes. And I scoop back. So I go over to my patient. But before you go over to your patient, endeavor to take off the glove and the apron you use in preparing the injection. So I'm put in the clinical waste. I do my hand hygiene again. So I put on a new apron. And I put on a new glove. Hello, Mrs. Arietta. Hello. I'm back now. I've prepared your insulin injection, darling. All right? Thank you. So can I just confirm your full name and date of birth, sweetheart? It's Henrietta Pearl, 15th February, 1940. Lovely. And you're allergic to penicillin. Is that correct? That's correct. I usually have anaphylaxis. Yes. So can I just confirm, where do you usually have your insulin injection, my love? My upper arm and on my thigh. Oh, so where would you like to have it today, darling? Upper arm, please. Oh, bless you, bless you. That's good. So can I just check your upper hand, darling? Yes, please, go your ahead. Your door is closed, so your privacy is secured. Is that all right? That's fine. I'll just expose you a bit, okay? No worries. I can see your upper hand. I can see that there's no lesion, there's no edema. So I'm happy to give this injection at your upper hand, if you are happy. Is that all right? Yes, that's fine. So I have the right injection. I have the right patients, it is the right time, and it is going to the right route. So I have all the rights of medication completed. Mrs. Aretha, yes. can I just confirm with you that you have food ready to eat? Yes, I do. All right, that's very, really important. And you know why you take your insulin? Yes. Why do you take it? To control my blood sugar. Bless you. So that's fine. I'm happy. So I can go ahead and administer the injection. So I'll be pinching your skin into fold. Is that all right? That's fine. So guys, you don't need to clean because it's a subcutaneous injection. You only clean when the patient is immunocompromised. So I read my patient here is not immunocompromised. So remove the cover from the injection. Remove the cover from the injection. Pinch the skin into fold. After pinching the skin into food, because it is insulin, you give at an angle of 90. If it's other walls, other medication, you can give at an angle of 45. So I pinch the skin into food, and I give my insulin at an angle of 90. So I hold my syringe between the thumb and my first finger, as if I'm holding a dart. So I go into at an angle of 90, pinching the skin into food. All right, guys. And I give slowly... Over nine say uh, over ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I wait for ten seconds for proper drug absorption. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I withdraw rapidly and straight into the what? Into the shop, and I put a gauze quickly. All right, darling, that's all. How was it? It was very good. Bless you. Do you need a plaster on top of it, darling? No, I'm oh, fine. Thank you. you. So that's all, my love. Your insulin has been given. I'll just quickly put my signature there. Okay. One. So I put my signature in there. And I gave this injection at 8 a.m. on the dot. Lovely. So, all right, my darling. Some of the side effects of insulin is dizziness and drowsiness. 
and that's why I said, hope your food is available for you to eat, all right? Yes. So since your food is available, I wouldn't really worry too much, all right? Okay. Do you experience any side effects with insulin? No, not really. Oh, bless you. So, my love, I'll just take away my apron and my glove and keep in the clinical waste and, you know, clear my equipment and I'm here for about 30 minutes just in case you have any reaction. Is that all right? Oh, that's beautiful. Do you Thank have you. any concerns for me, my love? Uh, no, at all. Oh, bless you. Anyway, if you have any concerns when I'm not here after the 30 minutes, or you have any emergency or any feelings of you know drowsiness, just you could ring 999. Is that all right? Okay, thank you. Bless you, or 111. All right, thank you. So I'll just clear my equipment and I'll be here for at least 30 minutes just to see if you react to it. All right, all right, no worries. So I take away my apron, I take away my glove. So I put in the clinical waste. So guys, I do my hand hygiene, that's all about community setting. But I can tell you for sure that because it's community setting, most patients don't wear, in fact, all patients in the community setting do not wear wristband, especially when you're going to a patient's house to, you know, give an administration of any injection or stuff like that. There's no wristband. So a lot of people forget to ask of allergy. So guys, when you're doing a community setting, remember to ask for what? Allergy. It's really, really, really very simple, guys. Always remember to ask for allergy in a community setting. Like the scenario we did, you can see the patient was allergic to penicillin. So always remember to ask for allergy. After giving your injection, endeavor to put it straight into the sharp balls, and that's all. And endeavor to wear an apron when preparing the patient's medication. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Please don't forget to give this video a like, don't forget to share this video, and I'm so grateful to Mrs. Agatha for making our time to do this video with me. So I will see you in my next video. And until then, keep passing your OSCE exam. Bye, guys.